The meanest man in America. One of the most depraved serial killers the world has ever seen. Donald Henry Pee Wee Gaskins. It was while in prison he earned the name The Meanest Man in America. He was born on March 13, 1933 in Florence County, South Carolina. At a young age, Gaskins was teased and given the nickname Pee Wee as a result of his small body frame. Violence and ridicule followed him from his home. Gaskins dropped out of school at the age of 11, which is when he started breaking into homes, robbing them, hiring sex workers, and sexually violating other children. He drove a hearse with a bumper sticker that read, I haul dead bodies, and it was actually true. He would use a hearse to move and dispose of the bodies of his victims. Gaskins would torture some of his victims for days on end, often cannibalizing them while they were still alive. Forcing the victims to watch while he ate parts of their body and sometimes forced them to eat their own body parts. His niece Janice, 15, and her friend then, 17, both of whom he beat to death after attempting to sexually assault them. Gaskins murdered and buried his victims in his very own private cemetery. While in prison, Gaskins was sexually abused like he had been at reform school. This time, Gaskins was willing to commit murder to escape abuse. His first known murder victim was Hazel Brazel, one of the most feared men in the prison. While incarcerated in the high security block of South Carolina Correction Institution, Gaskins killed a death row inmate, Rudolph Tyner. Gaskins was tried for the Tyner's murder and sentenced to death. When Gaskin's body shot was robbed, he killed the two men responsible. Enlisted the help of Walter Neely to dispose of the bodies while at the burial location, Gaskin showed Neely the spots of the other graves of his victims. Gaskins was arrested in 1975 when an associate confessed to witnessing him kill a 28-year-old man and a 15-year-old boy. He later led police to the bodies of eight more victims. These four victims were murdered because Gaskins believed they wronged him or were going to. One of the people who considered him a friend was 23-year-old Doreen Dempsey. Doreen, an ugly mother of two-year-old baby girl and pregnant with a second child, decided to leave the area and accept a bus ride from Gaskins. Instead, Gaskins took her to a wooded area, raped and killed her, then raped and sodomized her baby. After killing the child, he buried the two together. At 
the age of 58, he was pronounced dead by electrocution at 1.05 a.m. on September 6, 1991. In the book, Final Truth, Gaskin said of his ability to kill, I am one of the few that truly understand what death and pain are all about. I have a special kind of mind that allows me to give myself permission to kill.